Hello, Julie. Um, great post. You did a very good job with your post. Um, I enjoyed listening. And yes, sugar is challenging. Also, feel like giving up anything is challenging, but substances and behaviors ooh, are very, very challenging. Very, very challenging. Um, I loved how you pointed out um, sugar is socially acceptable, and, and that is so true, which, you know, is everywhere just about, except for that you know, place you work at. Other than that, just every little store, every, you can go to the shoe store, and sometimes they'll have a little piece of candy up there or something. So, you know, it's always at the checkouts, all over the place. I, you know, I find myself doing like this and sometimes turning my bag on the whole nine yards just not to do the candy and the sugar or the sweets. And I also understand craving sugar, <clears throat> especially after a long week or even after a long day. You know, I... That popped that piece of candy in my mouth as my little reward. I made it through, or, you know, rewarding, which is triggers too. I'm happy to hear that you, um, that you're more aware and mindful of your triggers and things that um, cause you to crave the sugar or want the sugar or things that cause you to pick it up. Um, I feel like you're doing a great job. Uh, and I also, I hear you saying you don't want to go backwards. And I don't think you're going to go backwards. But one of the ways that has always helped me when I put anything down to not go backwards was to use the motto, I'm not going to quit quitting. I'm not going to quit quitting until there's nothing there to quit anymore. And so eventually you'll get that way. Like um, I gave up pop. That way, I no longer drink pop. Um, I used to drink pop every day, all day long. No water. Now I drink water every day, all day long. So it's possible. It's possible. And we're going to all do this. And good luck to you. And thank you for sharing. Okay, bye-bye.